Hey gang, this is Matt Sumstein, and this is our fourth training video in our 2016 series. Today we're going to cover an exemption to one of the rules called momentum. That has to do with your momentum carrying you into your own end zone from between your own five yard line and your goal line, and it pertains to passes either intercepting a forward or a backward pass, intercepting or recovering a fumble, and it also pertains to kicks between your own five yard line and your goal line. So let's take a look at some video and discuss this rule exception. Play number one is the most typical of momentum plays, and that's an inter interception between the five and the goal line where your momentum carries you into the end zone. Now in this case, some might argue that it wasn't his own momentum, it was the force of the defender, but don't split hairs with that. It, if there's a choice between progress and momentum, go with the momentum rule, because if he separates from that contact in the end zone, if it's progress, then the progress spot will go away, but if it's momentum, the momentum spot will survive. So in this case, even though the receiver's not grounded, he does get that progress point where he's initially contacted by the defender. So once this play is over, we're going to bring the ball back out to the two or three yard line wherever we would determine that that initial contact occurred prior to the momentum sending him into the end zone, and it will be B's ball at that spot. Play number two. This is a defender who, going toward his own goal line, intercepts a pass, and there's a little bit of a question as to whether or not he comes down in the end zone or short of the goal line. Now, the video, when we slow this down, we can see that he's short of the goal line, so the momentum rule would not apply. But if you don't have a back judge on that goal line who's able to make that very critically close call, then the philosophy is, to give him the momentum rule and put him back at the spot where he originally caught the ball, which was probably the two or three yard line versus the one foot line. Play number three. This is a very clear case of momentum, and it's just a good point to review that momentum does not kill the play. He's standing up in the end zone. He's entitled to bring it back out. Once he brings it out, the momentum spot goes away forever. So you can see that the Defender gets it at about the four, his momentum carries it in, he brings it out, now the spot's gone. Be careful, don't get whistle happy on this. You can see in this still frame, the back judge is putting the whistle in his mouth, the play's not even close to being over. So what you have to remember is, let the plays develop before you start getting close to getting on that whistle. Play number four, another interception between the five and the goal line. And this time the receiver is contacted and backs into the end zone. Now there, these are very tight plays. And many times it's going to come down to just a couple of inches or even a fraction of an inch as to whether or not the ball's in the end zone or not. All of these plays, by virtue of this exception, are very close to the goal line because the exception only applies between the five and the goal line. So again, the philosophy is when in doubt, he's in the end zone and the momentum rule applies. Play number five. Now this is a free kick and I like this example because the ball is on the ground and we talked about the momentum applying to picking up kicks between the five and the goal line and also intercepting forward or backward passes or recovering a fumble or intercepting a fumble. So all of these possible options can have a momentum exception attached to them. So in this case, we're going to bring the ball back out to the 4 or the 5 yard line. It'll be 1st and 10 for the receiving team. Play number 6 and our last play is really a doozy. You can see the score. The team on offense is trailing by a single point. It's Hail Mary time with 2 seconds on the clock. So they let it fly. The defense intercepts it and the defense is tackled in the end zone. So if the defense intercepted that, between the five and the goal line and was tackled or went down voluntarily in the end zone, we will have the momentum rule. We bring the ball back out to wherever it was and the game is over. But in this case, you can see that he intercepts it at the six yard line and then he carries it into the end zone. That's outside of the exception to the momentum rule. And if he goes down in the end zone now, it's a safety. And as we already discussed, this is a one point ball game. So we have to remember we have philosophies for both lines, the goal line and the five yard line. If there's a question as to whether or not he's at or inside the five, he is. If there's a question as to whether or not he's 
in the field of play or in the end zone, he's in the end zone. So we have to make sure that we apply those philosophies correctly in order to get these rules right. And as you can see by this last play, sometimes it can make the difference in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Continue to do your good work throughout the season, and we'll talk with you soon.